But right now we've got the number one immigration radio show in the nation. Aren't you happy that you're tuning in to us? And we're going to show you how good we are today. We're going straight to call 718-324-5465. I must remind you though, you can set up an appointment to see Brad Bernstein, the number one immigration attorney in the nation right now. And they're open on Saturdays. Yes, they are. So right now, let's just uh, go to the phone lines. 1-800-LAW-LINK is the number you call to set your appointments. 718-324-LINK or 1-877-MY-LINK-UP is the number you call to get Brad Bernstein to answer your question for free. And he can't charge you right now. So let's, let's, let's just go to the phone line. DJ Sean is back at Master Control. Hello, caller. How you doing? Okay, do you have your credit card ready? Because I'm now <laughs> charging. I am now charging for every call. You have your credit card ready, right? Ah, you're like me. All right. All right. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Thank you. Thank you. My question is, is it true that I hear that America is the number one country in immigration Yes, this is the memo. Okay. The memo is that if you have gone through your interview for a green card, not your citizenship, but for your green, but for your green card, and the only reason why you don't have your green card is they say your fingerprints are pending. The memo now says that if your fingerprints are pending more than 180 days, immigration is going to have a search team that goes out into the different immigration offices, locate these files, and are going to approve the cases even without a full FBI fingerprint background check completed. And what they will do is if a if it there if when the fingerprint check does come through and there's an issue with your fingerprints, they will call you back in, maybe take your green card away or, or, or ask for more information from you. But they have the right, based on the memo, they have the right to take your green card away if the FBI comes back and says that you should never have gotten your green card right. in the first place. But what they're trying to do is just trying to eliminate this whole backlog uh, with the FBI. But now that's only for green cards. And the reason, right, that, the reason, the reason they're only doing that for green cards, and they're not doing it for the citizenship, is you can't take your citizenship away. Once you get your citizenship, you're a citizen, and they can't take it away. It's much easier to take a green card away. So for those people out there that have um, more than 180 days, that doesn't mean that tomorrow you're going to get your green card because they got a, a million and a half cases like this pending. Right, right. So we have so th those people like the people who I'm following up for now, for instance, in my office. That doesn't mean that tomorrow you're going to get your green card if it's been pending more than 108 days, because they still got a million cases to go through and approve. Right, right. But what what they're doing is is we're notifying them in our letters now mm -hmm. that uh, this memo does exist and we're expecting that they that they locate this file and approve it uh, within the next few weeks or month or two months. But I'm not expecting all of a sudden a million and a half people to be approved tomorrow. But hopefully the backlog will be reduced substantially. The people who harass immigration, the squeaky wheel, will get the oil first because they will go look for those files first. Write the supervisor. No, you write. This is how you harass them. You write the supervisor at the immigration office where your case is. Because it's and you write because that's the boss. Right. Okay. Because you call if you call immigration, all you're doing is speaking to an outside company hired by immigration to answer their phones. They don't care. They don't care. They they're not sending your your phone call to the boss at the local office. Here's my professional Right. You gotta uh, write them letters. All right. Here's my professional advice. My professional advice is that if you can do it and you have the time, you just go right up the ladder. All right. right. Boss after boss after boss. Keep writing the letters. Right. If you can't. So he went to Garden City. Should I go right to Garden City? Absolutely. Yep. If you right. can't, if you can't do it, come in and see the professional harassers. All right. And that's uh, Spar and Bernstein. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. Uh, Folks, once again, the number for the professional harassers, a.k.a., of course, great <laughs> immigration attorneys, all right? They will fight to to nail for you. The number is 1-800-LAW-LINK. And right now, set up an appointment. Go in and see Brad Bernstein. Work him to death. Not literally, but you know what I mean. 1-800-529-5465. The consultation is only $120. It's, it's been that way for years, 
Okay, so I'm holding it there for you, all right? And Brad has agreed to hold it there. I don't know how much longer, but he's holding it.